I'm literally getting raped by these Corvettes. Boys, what is going on? And welcome back. Today we're back in some Need for Speed Payback for... Okay, gonna run me over there. For yet another video. Now, if you missed the last one, go ahead and check it out. There's a card in the top right. It was honestly probably my favorite video I've made Need for Speed Payback so far. Like... I, I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm really happy with the final product. We built this guy. The Hokusuka Skyline C10 GTR. Over 900 horsepower of greatness. Four cylinder greatness, that is. <laughs> Anyways, boys, I do want to thank all of you so very much for leaving your suggestions. If you do have any suggestions you'd like to see for builds, leave those in the comment section. This build right here, the McLaren P1. 1100 horsepower McLaren P1 that is just hit 50,000 views actually it was a couple days ago I think we hit 55 today anyways boys thank you so very much I appreciate it anyways we also have this guy the Lotus Exige which we have built and the R34 Skyline anyways boys today we are building the McLaren 570s here it is right here the 570s 1000 horsepower top speed 222 0 to 60 in less than two seconds boys it's quite a full cinder now i do want to thank whoever it was who recommended this hopefully i can find the comment if i don't then you know whatever but leave your recommendations down below and uh i'll be sure to build those in future episodes anyways boys it is a race spec and we are gonna hop right into this so we have already thrown on air suspension for nitrous i'm feeling red we don't have red orange that works but for visual customization let's see what we have obviously tint the windows and then we are going to start let's start with the fenders when you guys are customizing cars in need for speed i would recommend that you do start with the fenders now my reasoning behind that is is if this changes the front bumper you'll know about it right so if this looks super weird with that front bumper i'll know i have to change front bumper vice versa you know all that all that good stuff anyways it looks like we have oh those vents though that is so sick i love those as you know from the p1 video i love the vents but it's still stock width which kind of stinks this i'm not really liking that like secondary lip this is very nice it just flows with the car it's like an actual integrated kit i love that it looks so great now moving on to the front bumper that is very interesting it honestly looks almost like a not necessarily a tesla but you know like an ev or a hybrid how they're just super like flowy for aerodynamic reasons bro i don't know i do not like that whatsoever gonna keep the stock one for canards we do have two options some lower ones or some higher ones we're gonna go with the lower ones i know i'm sorry they just i don't know we need something to fit that curve though uh -uh. for the splitter options oh my that is literally a dinner table that's insane do we have any rods to hold them up like Ah, what are those called? I know there's a technical term. I'll have to look that up. But I love it when those are, like, holding it up, bro. It just looks so nice. That is so big. Honestly, that might be a little too big, bro. We're gonna go with this one. For the hood, we do have a twin hood scoop or a single hood scoop. We're gonna go with the single. Once again, that might be a little too aggressive or weird. I don't know. Headlights, though. Yellow, moon, moon, purple. I don't know. Black and blue. I think we're going to come back to that once we have the color of the car. Moving on to the mirrors. Yep, standard stuff. Race mirrors. Oh, and we have full carbon mirrors. I'm honestly thinking the full carbon mirrors are going to look the best. Moving on to the rear fenders. I assume we're going to have very similar options to the front. Probably a little lip. Yep, there's the little lip or a bevel or whatever. We have the vents which make literally no sense because there's so much space in between there like louvers and that that's pointless and we have the very flowy very beautiful option there obviously going to be throwing that one on oh bro that's actually looking pretty lit let's come around here oh dude that is looking fire i think we're gonna have to throw those on without those we'll hop into photo mode so i can show you what i see because the lighting and stuff is different in the recording but uh i feel like that's necessary because there'd be that massive gap and stuff so 
that's helping fill the gap a little bit. Moving on to the rear. There we go with a nice victorious play heat. Sound system, obviously, very important option on these cars. For the taillights, I think we're going to go with the tinted. Rear bumper, that is very bizarre. I, I Once again, I feel like that's kind of EV look, but like, obviously not as much as the front. Dude, is that like a GT4 or GT3 race car part? I think this car is a GT4, not a GT3. I don't know. I'm not going to throw that on because it just looks so weird. But also, is that like the, the transaxle or something right there? I don't know. Looks interesting. For the diffusers, oh boy, that, that's a big one. <laughs> it's really big, but I am having a slight problem with it because... How do I say this? This, you can see, it goes up, it goes down, it has very nice angles. This is like a big swooping line all the way over the top. I'm thinking the stock one's a little bit more aggressive. It's kind of weird saying that, but, uh, oh, oh. Oh, it's going to be one of those kinds of cars. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what is that? All right, that's a good start. We have a black tinted chrome look. There's there's sideways. Turn 10 Y. That's, that's a meme. Dude, I kind of want to throw these on, but they're protruding a little too far. I don't really like these weird shaped tips. Like, they're weirdly shaped, but they do fit. Good job, McLaren. It's just not really my style. I prefer circular. If it's not circular, it's not right. We're going to throw that guy on, even though I feel like from the side, it's going to look super gay, whatever. believe that was every... Oh, the wing, bro. We got to throw on the spoiler. Ah. Uh... what's what's going on here what what is this that is a duck bill and a half okay moving on we <laughs> have a massive wing a massive wing a beautiful wing a interesting glass wing that is so massive bro apr hooking it up we have the stock wing, which I don't know if it rises, I assume it does, and a very angular wing. So I'm thinking the swan neck, bro, like that is just looking so sick. Let's throw that guy on. And there we have it. So, couple of things to come back to. Obviously, we're going to paint it. Let's do that quickly. That is where it's at. Okay. Well, um, we now have a blue 570S, which should be the color on a 570S. All right, coming back, we have the headlights. Honestly, I'm thinking yellow and blue. Like, that's a pretty legendary color combo. Although, we could do, like, blue and blue look, blue and tinted. I don't know. We'll just black them out, because that's a pretty safe option. So, as Vorsteiner does make a kit for this car, I think it would be very fair to put on Vorsteiners. But, um, I'm going to look through here, find the best option. Bro, these are like straight up drag. What's going on? Why are these so like hunky, dude? What? Why? What's? Uh. Okay. All right. I think I've decided on these guys here. Just some straight, simple, simple rims, and uh. I don't know. I wish we could make them like maybe a little bit bigger. That'd be nice. Oh well. And for tire lettering, we're going to throw on the Toyo. Now, I know, like, this is a very, like, if you like it, you like it. If you hate it, you hate it kind of thing. But I personally absolutely love the Toyo tire writing. I used to hate it, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. In 2015, I hated it. And in, in Forza and stuff, like, if I saw it, I never threw on, like, white wall looking thingies until recently. It's like, I just, I, I don't know. So lit. Well, anyways, boys, there we have it. The fully upgraded McLaren 570S. The recording is now 30 minutes long. <laughs> oh, boy. 1,000 horsepower, fully leveled up, 399 race class. We do have air suspension and orange NOS. Let's go. Full senya yeet. All right, boys. Dude, I just spawned it. It was quieter. It just got louder the second it started talking. 
So I wonder if it's got freaking active. Did not mean to do that. Active valves. <laughs> Let's whip her out. Did I? I think I forgot to throw on the lettering in the front. Dang it, that's gonna trigger me. I'm sorry. I have to go back. It's combination sausage and pepperoni. Uh, I was gonna make a smoothie, but I'll try one or two. So the fully upgraded McLaren 7, 7, 5, I feel like I've said 720 this entire video. I apologize if I have. I know it's not a 720, okay? I wish we had a 720. Honestly, that would be pretty lit. They should have that in a DLC or something. I'd pay for the 720 because the modifications, oh baby. Yeah, please, please turn 10, add it in the game, please. Now, uh, I can't really act surprised to hear that considering this like the 50th time I've started it up after. <laughs> <laughs> the last couple of minutes, but here we have it. Let's give her a quick few little blips Man, I hate the new thing where you have to hold down the, the screen, because it just never goes away. Hold, 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 there we go. You see what I'm saying? It's just so annoying. Anyways, boys. Oh, the horn, the horn, okay. Why? What is that? We do have one shipment to quickly open. Let's go ahead and do that. Please get bags. We didn't get any bags. Rip. All right, boys. We ain't messing around anymore. We are going in ranked speed list. <laughs> I really only care about the race events. So hopefully we just get race events. We def. I can bet you we're going through at least three events before we get a race. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I've been loading and restarting my game and loading and restarting my game so many times. It's been a long time, but, um, you know. The grind, bro, it's every day. <laughs> Let's quickly switch into the 570S. Boop a doop. Plop her down into race mode, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly, like the P1, if you remember the P1 video, when you bagged that thing out, it got so low. This guy, like, sure, it's tucking, tucking tire, but it's not anything compared to the P1. The P1 was full on tucking rim, so. I don't know. Maybe if we add a little more camber, it'll get a little lower. I believe that's how the game works. Seems pretty reasonable. I don't know. Anyways. I'm literally getting raped by these Corvettes. I think, oh, that's not a Viper. I thought that was Viper for a second. Longer in first place. Oh. Of course, I pick this one, and I hate the Observatory. The Observatory is good for drifting. Anything except drifting. No, also that guy's a Hokusuka, mad respect. The 570S, oh my, the RWB, okay. The Porsche is like OP fast, just saying. All right, we're catching the RWB a bit. Oh, don't go off the street, don't. Okay, okay, with weird lighting bug. Boy, ah, oh, he's right there. No, 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 no. Okay, well, he's gone now. So I do really like the 570S. Obviously, it's, like, newer, so I'm not quite used to it compared to, like, the size, the 650. Uh, obviously, like, the, the 650 is the bigger car to the 570. 
and now there's the 720, which replaces the 650. So it's like the physical size is smaller, the motor's smaller, horsepower smaller. Like it's just a smaller car, and I don't think I'm used to like this size because it's like the smaller sporty car rather than the big GT. So I'm used to like GT size cars, but let's just finish the race strong, fourth place. Oh well, whatever. Eh, I don't really care. My big complaint with the 570 is just like right there, okay, above the lights, it comes down at this weird angle, like in person and in video games, all that stuff. You, you'd think like in person you'd like them a little more and that's how most cars are. The 570, like yeah, I like it in person. It's like when I saw my, the 918 I saw, like it's just so much crazier in person. But like the 570, like it just doesn't, it's, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, literally half the people in the race missed that checkpoint. So after driving this car for, well, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes now. <laughs> it has been quite a while. My biggest complaint is, well, my biggest complaint is the noise, I think. Obviously, that's a, a big issue with McLaren right now is because, jeez. No, what was, now it's not only in game, but in real life, like people are really hating on McLaren for the noises they make, the twin turbo V8 noises. Which, like, I understand, like, they're a technology company and, like, exhaust and stuff. That might not be their strong suit, okay? I get it. I think it's forgiving because if you look at people like Street Speed and obviously not just his, but there are other exhaust systems for 720s and such, and they just make it so much louder and so much more bassy and stuff. I think it sounds absolutely wonderful, but in this game, like, there are so many great sounding cars. It's just, like, driving this around, honestly it's pretty boring because it's the same old like dull wine if that makes any sense so you compare this to like the hokusuka which has the most beautiful screen in the game it's really nothing i, I don't know leaving the negative notes and onto the positive notes i really love the wide body kit on the car i think the rear quarter once again like the rear bumper i guess is what it is not the quarter um it's almost like it needs another piece to kind of smooth it out because it goes from the flat, it's like a flat hard stop basically. And there's no piece on the kit to physically throw that on. That is a Ghost Games part. So maybe like a rear, rear canard, I feel like that's the wrong terminology, but you know, something in the back to help blend it in would have gone absolute miles. Oh my god. How many times is this going to take? Anyways, guys, I do truly hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty interesting, you know, this McLaren. I, I guess I never actually gave a walk around on the car, but it is just so beautiful. This hood scoop, like, while racing, obviously, you don't notice it. But once you hop into the photo mode, it has this whole other... S wrong button. has this whole other set of curves that just... It impacts it so much. The massive splitter, obviously, this is not the biggest splitter there is. There is a bigger splitter, which, you know, if you're into that, but it's so freaking big. We do have the wide body kit. This is the little thing I was talking about in the last race, where it's like, I pointed my screen right now. <laughs> but you see this little lip, like, there's no option to hide that or blend in or anything. So I think they could have just added a little bit of a, a rear canard there or something, because that looks a little, little dank. And also, this is what I was talking about in the very beginning. You can't really tell because the wheel is there. But this little side skirt, bro, covers up. It, it's just, oh, 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 yes. So anyways, guys, I do truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some more on the channel. I did order a chair today. So all this squeakiness will hopefully be gone soon. Once again, if you have any builds you would like to see, leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, if you like face cam videos versus no face cam, let me know, webcam, what, whatever you want to call it. It's easy enough. I do have my light now, so I'm willing to do that anytime. 
My face is not going to get any prettier here. I mean, I might as well just record with my face if you want to see my face. So anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Bye.